chicken fried steak with cream gravy. Simple flavors, salt, pepper, garlic. Now you can go crazy, Cajun seasoning and all, but you gotta have a good crust, a good cream gravy. Those two things right there make it good. Whether you serve it with hash browns, mashed potatoes, whatever. That's all incidental. You gotta have a good cream gravy, nice crust, some pepper flavor, black pepper, it's gotta be there. Now, the best place I ever had it was uh, the Gonzalez Cafe in Victoria, Texas. A few years back, I hope they're doing the same thing right now. A little family run place, I hope they're still there and I hope they're still doing it the exact same way. If you guys happen to be going through Victoria, Texas, stop in, check it out. Now, what I wanna know is where is your favorite place to eat chicken fried steak? Because I need to know that. Because I travel around a little bit and I'm looking for a good place to have chicken fried steak where they don't take it out of the freezer and use those hockey pucks. I don't like that. Anyway, let's get rolling on my version today. Okay, so let's get started with our preparation here. I've got some uh, cube steaks that I bought at the market. These have been mechanically tenderized. Uh, maybe in sometime in the future I'll do a video showing you how to make how to do that yourself. Anyway, we're gonna season these up. I'm just gonna season the one side. They're pretty thin, and we're gonna be seasoning our flour up and everything too. Like I said, we're going pretty basic. Salt, pepper, garlic. I'm using garlic powder. Uh, granulated garlic works good, and a granulated garlic, granulated garlic doesn't clump up as bad in the container as the garlic powder. But they're both good. A little black pepper. There we go. Now we're going to set this aside and we're going to start working on our other, like our flour. Got a couple tricks we're going to do today. Now I want some milk in here and while we're seasoning everything up, I'll season the milk. I want to put about a quarter cup of milk. Maybe a little more, a little less, I'm not sure. Anyway, we're going to season all three of these up. Black pepper. Garlic powder, a little bit of salt, now we've got this flour that we're going to mix up, and we're going to mix this flour up and what we're going to do is this is what's going to give us our nice crunchiness. I'm going to take and put a little bit of milk in here and we're going to mix this up and we're going to make basically like little crust pieces. You ever go to those uh, fast food places and they have the crunchy pieces? This is kind of what they do. We're not making a batter. I'm going to need just a little bit more flour or a little bit more milk. You want to add just a little bit at a time. See how that's all the flour starting to get some moisture to it. And so, you know, you would think that this is the exact opposite of what you want to do because, uh, but this is going to give you an uneven crust, which is exactly what we want. Now we're going to put this out on the plate. There we go. Set that aside. Now, what we want to do, we want to take our, our steaks and we're going to put them in this milk. And let me put these in the milk because I want to soak these for just a couple minutes and I'll be back with you here in just a minute. All right, now we got our, everything ready. Now, if you wanted to in your milk, you could put some egg. Sometimes I put egg, sometimes I don't. I don't know why sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. I really don't have a good reason for that. All right, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this, we're gonna get this coated up in our flour. back over here in our milk just a little bit. The 
some nice crusty pieces on there back over here in this flower we're gonna put this over here and we're gonna let that rest for a little while let everything just kind of stick together and we're gonna do the same thing to the other one all right these have been sitting here for a couple minutes while I washed a couple ditches and cleaned up the counter and what we're gonna do we gonna check the other side so this side's nice and dry now put it over here make sure everything's stuck good let it dry a little bit yeah I know all the cooking books and all tell you not to mash in your flour and all but that's what we're doing all right that pan I do believe is ready dead eyes all right we're going to carefully lay this in here laying it in the pan going away from us don't want to be splashing yourself with hot oil There we go. We're going to put some color on that. Now, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but this meat's kind of jumping. That tells me that the crust has formed really good and it's free from the pan. It's no longer stuck. I see some color developing right along here and along here. So we should have a good crust. Look at that. A little bit stuck there, it's okay. Oh yeah. All right, let's flip these over one more time. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take this one out. I'm just gonna put this one here, make sure we get browned up real good on that one. And then it's gonna come out. Okay, so when I took out my uh, chicken fried steaks and I got to looking and I drained off the oil, I got to looking. I had some stuff that was burned on the bottom. I don't like that. Brown bits are wonderful. Black burnt bits are not very good. Now what I'm going to do now, I put some of the oil back in here. And I'm going to take two tablespoons of uh, flour. It's, pretty, it's basically a one-to-one -one ratio. Now if you want to get really technical, you should measure the oil and weigh the flour because flour weighs differently per volume than what oil does. Anyway, we're gonna brown this up and we're gonna make a roux. Hmm, it's not hot yet. Anyway, it'll get there, it's coming. So we're gonna start mixing. I'll be back with you here in a minute. Looks like I may need to add a little bit more oil. Yep, just a tiny bit. We're almost there. If I don't add any oil, it'll clump up. There we go. That's what we're looking for. We'll be back when we get some color here. All right, our flower's getting just a little bit of color, which is what we're wanting to do. We're not wanting to make a brown roux or anything like that. We just want enough color to show that the rawness has been cooked out of it. Now what I've got here is a little can of evaporated milk. Now remember all the ingredients are going to be listed below in the uh, about more or show more section. We're going to mix this up. Let's see how to get my whisk out, huh? Now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add some milk. I'm going to add at least as much regular milk as we put evaporative milk. And then we're going to thin this out using whole milk. Anyway, I'll be back here in just a minute. All right, so first thing we're gonna do here, I got my heat turned back up. We're gonna put some fresh black pepper. There we go. Now I'm gonna put just a touch of salt. Not much, just a touch. Now as this heats up and the flour goes into this, this should thicken up. All right, now this is thickening up, but it looks like I've got some lumps. But anyway, we're gonna put a little bit more milk in here and we're gonna get this to the consistency we want. And if I still got lumps, I'll show you how to get rid of those. All right, this is pretty much about the thickness that I'm wanting here and got plenty of black pepper. Maybe could use just a little bit more, but that's okay. We're fine for now. 
Now, I do have a couple of lumps in this gravy. It's not bad. I mean, it's just me. It'd be okay to serve it. But just in case, let me show you what to do. If you get some lumps, take my strainer. See on the bottom of that pan, you see those lumps in there? Put that over there. Now we're going to take our whisk. Now after we get these clumps broke up, we're going to need to cook this for just a little bit more. Look right there, and that's looking good, isn't it? We're going to put just a little bit more milk through here. There we go. No more lumpy gravy. I think we're going to put this piece on the bottom. No, 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 no. We're going to put that, yeah, we're going to put that right there. Just like that. We're going to put this right here. Now this broccoli is fresh out the bag. All right, now we need gravy. Ah, oh, there's our gravy. Lump free gravy. We're gonna put some of this on the on the mashed taters. There we go. Okay, so what I want to know is how does this taste? Mm. The crust is good, got a little crunch to it, just a good basic flavor. That gravy is nice and rich from that evaporated milk. Really, evaporated milk and the cream gravy, that's a secret, man. You gotta, but you gotta try it. Just don't tell anybody. <laughs>